Want to improve the organic click-through rate for your WordPress website? Organic click-through rate, or CTR, is simply the number of clicks a search result receives divided by the number of times it's viewed on the search engine result page. Improving your CTR helps improve your SEO rankings and drives more traffic to your site from search engines. The easiest way to find your organic click-through rate is by using Google Search Console. It's a free tool offered by Google to help website owners see how their website's doing in search results. If you're not already using it, follow the link in the description to our guide on how to add your website to Google Search Console. After that, log into the console dashboard and switch to the Performance tab. At the top, you'll see your website's average click-through rate. Click on the average CTR to add it as a metric to your report. Next to it, you'll also see the average position box. So go ahead and click to select it as well. Now you'll need to scroll down to the Detailed Reports section. Under the Queries tab, you'll see keywords you rank for with average clicks, impressions, CTR, and position. You can click on any column to sort the results by position or by CTR. Now, that being said, let's look at some of the proven tips that you can use to improve your click-through rates across the board. Your blog post title or headline must be relevant, catchy, and engaging in compelling users to click. Several headline analyzer tools will analyze your headlines and make suggestions for improvements. We'll be using the Monster Insights plugin. It has a built-in headline analyzer. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress and has both paid and free versions, helping you to see where your visitors are coming from and what they're doing on your site. So first, you'll need to install and activate the Monster Insights plugin. Our setup wizard will walk you through the process, but if you need a little help, be sure to see the link to our tutorial in the description. Once it's set up, edit any post or page to optimize the headline. To do that, go to your post edit screen and click on the Headline Analyzer button at the top right corner. This will open the Headline Analyzer tool with a score and practical tips to improve your post or page title. You can switch to the Try New Headline tab and try new headlines without saving them. You can also try the web version of Monster Insights Headline Analyzer tool or the Is It WP's Headline Analyzer tool, both of which allow you to test headlines outside of your WordPress admin area. By default, WordPress automatically uses your post or page title as a title tag in the HTML. You can use the All-in-One SEO plugin to automatically generate better SEO titles for your older blog posts and pages. Once you've installed and activated the plugin, it'll walk you through a guided setup wizard. Just follow the instructions, and if you need help, see the link to our tutorial in the description. Once you're finished, you'll need to visit All-in-One SEO, Search Appearance, and then switch to the Content Types tab. From here, you can set up dynamic SEO titles and descriptions for all of your posts, pages, products, and any other post type. This title will be used when a post or page doesn't have its own SEO title or description. You can also edit any post or page on your WordPress site to edit its SEO title and description. Edit the post and scroll down to the All-in-One SEO Settings section below the post editor. And from here, you can add a custom SEO title for your post or page, and you'll see a live snippet preview of how it will look in search engine results. And don't forget to save and update your post once you're done. Search engines automatically generate the description part when showing search results, so the most relevant content appears in the snippet. Using All-in-One SEO for WordPress, you can edit each post and page and provide your SEO-friendly description. Just ensure that all your SEO descriptions include your target keywords and explain what users will see when they visit your site. This helps users understand your content better and encourages them to click more often. WordPress uses an SEO-friendly URL structure. This allows you to create meaningful URLs for your content like this one. Now, the last part of these URLs are called the slug and WordPress automatically generates those based on the post or page title. However, if your post title contains numbers, years, or it's too lengthy, it could become less user-friendly. Now, to remedy that, make sure that you manually correct the URL slug before publishing any post or page. You can do that by clicking on the gear icon at the top right corner of the Content Editor screen. Switch to the Post tab, and then expand the Permalink option. Here, you can replace the default URL slug with your own. And don't forget to save and update your poster page to store those settings. Now, the only thing better than ranking number one in a search query is ranking in the answer box. The answer box is Google's attempt to answer users' search queries right on the search page with more detailed results. According to research conducted by Advanced Web Ranking, answer boxes secure a whopping 32.3% click-through rate on average. 
The most common strategy that's worked for most websites is simply improving the content. For details, check out our complete guide on how to appear in the Google Answer Box Rich Snippets with real examples and practical tips. Rich Snippets allow you to provide structured data along with your content. This structured data is written in a unique format called schema.org markup. Search engines use this markup to show your content with additional information and search results. This makes your page stand out among other results and it improves your CTR. Now, the easiest way to add rich snippet markup to your WordPress site is by using the all-in-one SEO plugin. It comes with built-in support for schema markup, allowing you to set it up for each post type, like posts, products, reviews, and more for search engines to use. Making your content appear for relevant terms, but for the wrong audience can cause a lower click-through rate. Local SEO helps you remedy that by allowing you to target regional audiences. This allows you to rank for a targeted audience, which makes your results more relevant and boosts your click-through rate. So first, you may want to create a Google My Business account. This allows you to add your business listing, prove that you own the business, and manage your business information using Google's My Business dashboard. Next, you'll need to use the All-in-One SEO plugin for WordPress, which has a local SEO add-on. This add-on allows you to add your local business information as schema markup for your website. You simply use the add-on to provide your business information, and it will add the schema markup for search engines to use in the results. You may have older articles on your website that have become outdated and they're dropping in ranking. Many WordPress blogs have several articles just ranking somewhere on page two of search results. You can find them by simply sorting the Google Search Console's performance report by position. And it'd be quite easy to improve these pages' rankings with some additional updated content. Making this optimization a part of your regular content review routine is a quick and easy way to boost their search rankings. If your targeted keywords are in a very niche category and your website has multiple resources dealing with that topic, then it's likely that some of them will be cannibalized. We recommend keeping an eye on your top keywords and considering merging similar keywords into one comprehensive resource when needed. After that, you can set up 301 redirects to point search engines to the main resource. Google's page experience algorithm updates focus on user experience and website speed. Speed's already an important factor in SEO. Faster page loads affect your search rankings. So here are some quick tips that you can apply right away. Use a better WordPress hosting service. Install and activate a WordPress caching plugin. Optimize images for faster page loads. Use a web application firewall or a CDN service. Be sure to check out our guide on optimizing your website's performance. Some of your pages may already have a good organic CTR, but a very high bounce rate. Keeping your users engaged allows you to show them other content and lead them through your sales funnel to become a customer or subscriber. So make sure that your top articles are linking to other articles and giving users plenty of opportunity to click. You can also add related posts or popular post widgets to your site to add content discovery options for your users. When users spend more time on a website, they're more likely to visit more pages, join your email list, and buy your products. For more details, see our guide on how to reduce bounce rate and increase page views in WordPress. It's important to keep in mind that bringing traffic to your website is often not enough to grow your online business. Relying heavily on search traffic alone can hit your business hard when an algorithm update happens. The ultimate goal for any business is to take advantage of a higher click-through rate and convert those users into customers and subscribers. Now, this is where you need Opt-in Monster. You can easily boost conversion rates, make more sales, and grow your email list. It comes with beautifully designed lightbox pop-ups, countdown timers, notification bars, slide-in pop-ups, spin-the-wheel pop-ups, and a lot more. All of these tools can help you nudge customers to spend more time on your site, buy products and services, follow you on social media, or join your email list. With powerful display rules, it allows you to show personalized campaigns at just the precise time. For instance, you can geo-target users in a particular region with free delivery or give users a discount coupon just when they are about to leave your site. All right, that's it for this video. Now, you don't want to miss the opportunity to get Monster Insights at a discounted price, so be sure to check out the discount link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos on your screen now.